Welcome back to the channel guys with me Mings Paranormal and tonight I'm actually at 30 East Drive. Now big shout out to Haunted Happenings for putting on this event tonight and also a big shout out to Mandy who's our host for the evening. Guys we've had to come here, we've come to find out whether there's any truth in the videos that we've actually seen about this place. Now I do know quite a bit of history that goes on within this premises so can I find anything out? We're here tonight to find out, guys. Ooh. There we go. Did it? Yeah. Oh. Uh, they oh. are. The motion ball's going oh, again, really? guys. Thank you for that. Well. Can you make another one go off? There we go. <laughs> this doll that you can actually see here, guys. This is the is one that actually it is, yeah. fell over That's before when we wasn't in the room. I am also joined with Nighthawks Paranormal. His link will be in the description down below. And with that said, guys, we're actually going to get on with this investigation and we're going to do our own and we're going to see if there is any truth to what supposedly happens in 30 East Drive. With that, we're carrying on. So, history of this place and the land on which it stands. It was very brief but I'll tell you a little bit that I know about the place and the land. Something just spiked in there, was that the K2? Yeah, no, okay, that's good. Oh. So if we whiz back nearly a thousand years, about a mile and a half to my left, that way, you've got the ruins of Pontefract Castle. So it's highly likely the lands on which this house stands had links to the castle, because the castle would have owned all the lands around it, so we've got links there. Next door to the castle, we've got the ruins of the monastery. Please tell me that's somebody walking around with a hair too. Thank God for that. I've just seen a green <laughs> light floating across my head. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got the ruins of a monastery next to the castle, so also highly likely that the lands on which this house stands would have had links to religion and or the monastery. The monks were known to be, um, they used to work on the land, they used to brew. <laughs> you alright? <laughs> What's happening? The door fell. The door just fell. The door just fell. Okay, stand it back up again. Do you want to stand away from it and then we'll ask them to do it again? Okay, so the monks. Obviously, 1536, dissolution of the monasteries, Henry VIII, so back, kind of put paint the wall there. Next door, there's four um, people but, that, there. but those kind of days the are where the, the story of the Black Monk of Pontefract come in. So the Black Monk of Pontefract is not specifically linked to this house. He's seen all over the Checkerfield estate, and the story behind him was he was a monk, he went bad. Apparently, he kidnapped, tortured, abused and killed quite a few girls. He, he, if he didn't kill them, he cut their tongues out to stop them talking so he didn't get caught. However, the last two girls that he killed, apparently he threw his, their bodies down a well. That well was supposed to be underneath this house. When the monk got caught, he was hung apparently, and after he was hung, his body was also allegedly thrown down that well. Okay, so hence the Black Monk of Pontefract. We think he's called Brother Michael, but there's nothing concrete written down in the records to evidence that. So we just call him Michael, Brother Michael, the monk. That's the Black Monk of Pontefract. So he's seen all over you've got a flash of ball going off in there. Yeah, motion balls going off yeah. in here. Fast <coughs> forward another hundred years to the Civil War time, 
and this site had a massive battle on it during the Civil War. Are you all right there? Yeah, let's catch it with these ones. Oh, okay. So there was a battle called the Battle of Checkerfield, and hence this estate now is now called the Checkerfield Estate. So we've got links to the Civil War on this site as well. So we've already got hundreds of years worth of history on the site. Then if we fast forward with 400 years to around about 1955, this house was built. And the first family to live in this house were the Farrow family. They lived here for a number of years. Um, they had some activity, but they didn't tell their friends, the Pritchards, who they did a council house swap with. The Pritchards moved in, um, and it was Philip, the Pritchards' oldest son, and his grandma that actually experienced the first batch of paranormal activity. And they witnessed pools of water appearing all over the house for no explanation. Philip had quite a lot of activity around him, but predominantly it was around Diane. So when we talk about poltergeist activity in hauntings, they tend to um, attach themselves to sort of prepubescent teenage girls, because you know at that age we're all full of crazy hormones, rage and, and all sorts of stuff, and they feed off that energy and they grow and they're malevolent and they just, they just get stronger and stronger. And that's where Fred comes in. So this poltergeist, they didn't know who or what it was when stuff was happening around the house. So, you know, an ornament would get broken or something would get, I don't know, taps would be left on. And the parents would be, who on earth's done that? Who's broken this? Who's done that? And the kids would be like, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. So it'd be, oh, well, I suppose it's that bloody Mr. Nobody again, isn't it? Hence, that's where Mr. Nobody came from. And then they called it Fred because they wanted to normalise it. So they wanted to, you know, oh, it's Fred. Now, the poltergeist is not something that's ever lived and died. It's a collection of energies. It's something that's manifested or, or raised. So it's an entity. It's intelligent. It's not male. It's not female. It, it kind of feels male because it's kind of strong and horrible. Um, but it's not like anything you've ever played with before, I guess. Um, he will play with you. If he comes out to play, he will play with you. If you're up here, he'll make noises downstairs. When you go downstairs, you'll hear footsteps upstairs. He'll mess about with you. If you're doing glass moving, he will pretend to be your loved ones that have passed away. He is a little sod. <laughs> <laughs> He's not as strong as he was back in the day when he did all the damage to the family. But he can be quite horrible. He has had people running out of this house in tears. So, Guys, that's got to be interesting. Well, we've got the Black Runker Pontifract, Brother Michael. The two girls that he murdered, whose bodies were thrown down the well, Alice and Emily. So you've got the three of them there. You've got Fred, or Mr. Nobody. Or he also seems to react to a couple of other names, Simon or Stephen. So you've got four there. The other two spirits you may come across tonight in here. The first one is Joe, because after everything kicked off with all the poltergeists, the family scarpered for a short period, but Jean said, that's my house. He's not having it. They moved back. The kids, Diane and Philip, they are alive. You won't come across them tonight. They moved out as soon as they could. They hated the place. And I think they've only been back once or twice. But Jean said, it's my house. He isn't having it. And she stayed. Joe passed away in 1981. He passed away in the bathroom. I've heard two different stories about how he died. I've seen him in this house. and the many investigations I've done here, I've been lucky enough to see him. Jean continued to live here on her own for almost 30 years. She was taken into a nursing home a couple of miles down the road and she actually only passed away, I think about two years ago, 18 months, two years ago. She's also been seen here as well. Downstairs, you heard I mentioned a haunted chair, but that chair next to the windows, apparently the lady that used to own it is attached to it. So that's the history of the house in a nutshell. So just quickly run through the rooms. Bathroom there where Joe died, to mm -hmm. my right. Directly to my left, the small room with the small single bed. That's Diane's room. That's where the poltergeist tried to kill her. Mm. You alright in there? Yeah. <laughs> 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 now, in front of me to my left, the big bedroom with the double bed, that was Jean and Joe's bedroom. And this one here, the big bedroom with the single bed, that was Philip's bedroom. Now to me, that one is the creepiest room in the whole house. 
So how do you feel up here compared to downstairs? Really weird. When I walked in the door, I had a cold chill, but then I was fine afterwards. Mm. When you walked in here? In here, in this yeah, room. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I had a cold I chill, that. like a shiver all over, and yeah. then I was fine afterwards. I don't. Yeah. I've gone wild. I was, it was just as I walked in the door. Ah, I can mm. shiver down my spine. Yeah, like whole yeah. body shivered as I walked in the door, but then I was fine afterwards. Yeah. yeah. It was just yeah. as I walked through. Right. Guys, as you know, I see a bit of a history. As I okay, came so in, up a, a uh, we started the investigation, but now we've actually just found out a lot more as well. It's surprising it's just how much history this house has actually got behind it. Now, we did actually see the, the motion ball go off before, and none of us were anywhere near it. Okay, move them round, swap them round. Yeah, I've already done it. Uh, okay. So we've got the EMF meters going off next door, guys. Yeah, that one's picking up here. Yeah. Up yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is, but only slight. Yeah. yeah. So I'll keep an eye on it. Does it feel better or worse than downstairs? For me, it doesn't oh, feel sure. any different. I'm not sure, same, no. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it's the same as what it was downstairs. Okay. Good evening, spirits. My name's Ming, and I'm here to investigate this household. I don't mean you any harm. I'm only here to communicate, and I hope you'll be willing to do the same. Hi, spirits. I'm Danny. I've come here to talk to you and communicate, and hopefully you're willing to show us what you can do here tonight. Hello, I'm Helen, and I'd really like you to try and move that ball again, like you did earlier. Dear, yeah, I'm Scott, and I'd like you to uh, show us some evidence tonight. Now you know who we are, could you come and say hello to us, please? Maybe make a little sound like this. A little whistle like this. Yes, there we go. Did it? Yeah. Oh, we've got a ball flashing in there, Philip's room. Oh, thank you. Guys, I'm just wondering now whether it was actually Scott that we're listening to because it was Scott that actually mentioned the bomb that mm. actually Helen. went off before. Helen. Was it Helen? Yeah, that was you. Yeah. Helen was it? Oh, yeah. I apologise. I thought it was you, Scott, to be honest. I've just been rectified, guys. It was Helen that mentioned the ball before. Bear in mind that the heating was switched off when I came in, and now it's on. So they will go up. So the heating set mm. to, I think, 20 degrees. Right, just came on there. Yeah. Right on there. Mm hmm. Yeah. Can you tap on that unit, please, and make the light go off? Something just flashed behind you, too, on the bed. I've seen it and caught Did you? Yeah. I wasn't sure if it was a reflection or something shining onto the mattress, but there was just a whoa. Okay, two spiking in the bathroom, but there was definitely a flash behind you. Right. Ooh. It, that's in um, Philip's room. Well, guess which way that's facing. That way. Yeah. But so I'm just. I'm thinking, could it have been a car going past? Because there's a window directly behind us. No, it wasn't a car because it was low down. It was just above the mattress. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it? the flash. I just thought it was a car. Not through that window. So those windows are the back of the house. Right. Oh. Now occasionally we get some headlines through um, Philip, not Phillips, through so Mother. Just, uh, okay. Can you do? Can you do that again, please? Oh, fuck. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not supposed to be joking. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. That's, that's music box on the top stairs. Yeah, guys. And just Donny's up. just informed. Ah. We'd have not been able to go night vision. You can't actually film oh. at the moment. Oh. oh, okay. That I can see that flashing from here. Yeah. yeah. That's the K2 in the bathroom. Right. So somebody's. So if you look, so that's the, that's... Music, that's the music sensor on the top of the stairs. Oh yeah. So somebody would have had to, had to come up the stairs to make that go off. And then that went crazy. Yeah. Right. See where it is now. So, who wants to come and stand in the bathroom? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. yeah. Go on, Scott's lying. Oh, so, we've just had the music box going off, guys, on the top of the stairs. Okay, we've got the thingy in there now. We've just had the K2 around? going off yeah. in yes, the yeah. bathroom. Stand now, I can tell you, there was four people in this room that I'm in now. There was four people in the room next door. And there was two people in the small bedroom. Can I? Do you want to? Come on. Yeah, so I can see it anyway, because my camera actually shows me the way. Well, I have got one, so. Sorry. <laughs> it's pretty bright this torch, to be honest. <laughs> Joe, are you in the bathroom? Is it you that was making the, the music box go off? And the K2 meter? Did you come up the stairs? If it wasn't you, Joe, was it Fred? Or Mr. Nobody? Can you show yourself, please? Trying to get out here, Dan. Did you hear something there? Um, no. I don't know if it was the heating kicking out, surely. I can hear the bed like moving. I can hear the heating system in there. Yeah, that's probably Okay, what? Describe the shadow. It's just. Um, it's just like that. Yeah. It's like that. Yeah. yeah. Who, who's talking here about the shadow? Scott. Scott. Three quarters of the way at the door. Okay. Person shaped. Not particularly, just a big black bulk. Okay. Motion. motion ball again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Guys, a motion ball. It's in front of me. It's in the bathroom. It's been activated There's again. There's a REM pod over the back. It's a round machine. If you put your hand close to it, you no, close to it, it'll make a noise. Can you do that? No, that's. I did that. To see if it, to see if it was me that actually knocked it off, but it wasn't. Oh, I thought it was the floorboard. You know when it moved earlier? And I yeah. I put to see if yeah, it's, it's the floorboard. Floor it's not. I've just done it. I've just tapped the floor twice. Okay. Guys, Scott's in the bathroom, looking into the window. Uh, into the window. Into the mirror. Uh, there oh, are. Yeah. The motion ball's going oh, again, really? guys. Thank you for that. What? Can you make another one go off? There we go. If we can see you, oh sorry, what's your name? Scott. If Scott can see you, can you make one of the lights flash to confirm it, please? Scott's just advised, guys, look. He's in the bathroom. He's looking into the mirror. And he keeps saying that on the other side of the hallway. You keep seeing people, or a certain thing in the doorway. Mandy, did oh, you? the lights are going off yeah. in there. And here. <laughs> it's all right, they're just doing both bars. Yeah. What did you see? Is there um, a carbon monoxide thing in here? Yes. Yes, that's it's what I've just seen in the top corner. Guys. We're just going to have a switch around it's in the room, so Watch the ball well. we're going to try a different room now. Right guys, so we've come into a different room okay. now. We're going to try and do a small investigation in here. 
and we'll see what we can actually gather in there. Looking forward to it, Dan. Yeah. It doesn't sound very optimistic. Yeah. Guys, we come back in. We have gone into another room. They don't fell over. <laughs> 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 the other people were in this room before and they had to pick it up. Oh, we're getting spiky yeah. when we're in Because the, there's only one room in this house which I wouldn't even contemplate sleeping in, and that's Philip's room. Hell, hell would freeze over before I tried to sleep in there. Yeah, not a chance. Never. What colour did we have there? Yeah, Okay, so that means there is a fluctuation in air pressure and it's going down. Well, All I need now is for the music box to go off on the stairs again and it'll completely finish. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'm just watching the K2 near the door. But uh, we have actually got a few spikes on it. Nothing fantastic, nothing major, but it is happening. <laughs> now this doll that you can actually see here. Hey, what's going on? Flashing ball. Right. <laughs> this doll that you can actually see here, guys. This is the one that actually it is, yeah. fell over That's before when we wasn't in the room. So they have stood it back up. Now, hopefully, we'll be able to get it to fall over again. Right, moved it now. It oh, Katie was back in the bathroom then. Yeah. Whoever knocked the doll over before, can you do it again for us, please, while we're here, so we can see? I keep smacking that bed. Spirits, if you're here with us now, and you're in this room with us, can you let us know? Can you make a noise? Can you flash one of the balls? Thank you. Okay, two sparking in. Yeah, I actually saw that through the door. But... Mm. Can you do something in this room that we're in, please? Spirit, is it possible for you to make a noise where you are so that we can come to you? Can you give us a sign of where you want us to be? Could you copy this, please? <coughs> or maybe copy this knock. <coughs> Was that a single knock back then? I thought I heard one. I thought I heard one as well, but I remember it was like the heating or something. That was it, it was in distance, that as well. Yeah, it didn't sound like a clunky pipe. No. Let's try it again. Could you copy this, please? Did you hear that? I heard that. That was two knocks back. I heard that. I heard one before. I heard my two knocks. I heard two. Yeah. Let's try again. Could you copy this, please?
try really hard and copy this please. Oh, oh the music box. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not scared. <laughs> Not worried that there's anybody standing behind me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. Could you do it again, please? Are you coming up the stairs? Could you make the music box go off, please? I'll copy this. What was that? I heard one clunk. I think it oh, was a pipe, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. It sounded um, like a pipe, yeah. Oh, is it a pipe? Yeah. I think so. Come on, spirit. Make that music box on the stairs go off again for us so we can all have a dance. Oh, yeah, he's brave, isn't he? He's sat right up there. <laughs> <laughs> Swap seats. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> right, guys, so we've been on location now. We're actually sat at the top of the stairs. Sorry. Where the music box is. Come on, spirit, come up the stairs. <coughs> come and shake my hand. Introduce yourself. K2. K2. What is that? Can you copy me one more time, please? Oh my god, that's got to be next door. Oh, I'm gonna say, I love that. It felt like underneath, didn't it? Yeah. It felt like, like it was underneath, underneath you. Feet, yeah. yeah. It could be, could be vibrating from next yeah, door. Yeah, it could yeah. be. Well, this, you know what, I was just about to say on camera then, these two in the next room just pooped themselves. Is Fred here? Can you make a noise? Indicate where you are, or if you're downstairs, can you come upstairs? That's got to be the heating system. Yeah. We've come here today to see you and talk to you. I see your mask going off mentally next to me. Yeah. Can you do the music box for us one more time, please? Can you show us that you're here? Wow. Wow, that's going out to orange. Guys, it's over halfway to see EMF here. EMF, EMF, EMF. Is that yours, your EMF? The stand up one? Yeah. Yeah. As soon as I come towards this door. That's Bill's room, really, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. He's alive as well. He's alive as well. Yeah. Move away from it, it dies down, move back towards it, it's going yeah. back up. Spirit, can you show us how strong you are? Can you make that music box go off one more time? Okay, two spiking in here, the one that's on the doll. Mm. No, we didn't get that when we were in there. Can you finish this knock for me? Don't want it. That's the motion ball because you knock it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, can you finish this knock? Cold here. It's like there's a breeze coming through, yeah. but there's no breeze, is there? There's no breeze, mm. there's just cold. No no wind is open. Nope. There's that cold breeze coming through here. Can, can feel it across my legs. Guys, I'm just gonna take a quick break. Right guys, I'm back again. 
and I've left the others in the living room downstairs where they're doing um, a glass movement thing. Now, for me, that's not for me. So what I've done is I've come into what they call the cold shed. Now I am on my own and we're going to do a bit of a shout out in here guys. I'm going to see if we can actually get any responses from within this area. If there's any spirits who were within my vicinity and they would like to communicate with me, can they come forward and do so now please? Guys, you believe the others in the background. Can they come and make their presence? No. Are they willing to come and interact with me? If you see or hear anything that I don't pick up on, please stick it down in the comments down below. This is one small shed. Can you come and talk to me? Right guys, I'm going to stick the spirit talker on now it is already in flight mode so we'll just give it away a layer guys if there's any spirits who are willing to communicate can they come forward and let me know please tell me who they are Fred is that you? If you're willing and you're able, can you let me know you're here? Can you come and talk to me? Can you speak to me please? Can you let me know that you're here? Is it possible for somebody to come and speak? Sun. Sun? You won't find the sun in here. It's very dark. Fred, if you're listening and you're willing to communicate with me, can you come and tell me so? Let me know that you're here. Now it is said, guys, that the poltergeist that actually haunts this place is called Fred. Now, we have actually asked Mandy whether that is true or false. As you can appreciate, guys, what Mandy said to us was, it all depends on the person that you actually talk to, because some people believe it and other people don't. Now, I'd love to believe it and I'd love to be proved right about it, but will we actually get to that stage this evening? Who knows, guys? Nobody does. Where's my body? Where's your body? I don't know where your body is. Can you tell me where your body is? Is it in the graveyard? Or is you buried? Do you realise that you passed over? Do you know that you died? I'm listening to you. I thank you for that and I'm listening to you. Could you tell me, do you still reside on these premises? What's your name? Can you tell me your name please? He 
it's very very cold in here guys now we have we have actually got the heating on in the house but it is forest freezing in here forest is forest your name is that what you want me to call you now it is actually said guys that the poltergeist actually tried to kill one of the daughters upstairs in the bedroom the attic. But we, the attic, but was unsuccessful in doing so. Now, I believe her name was Ridicule. Diane. And Diane, ridicule guys, and Diane is actually still living. <coughs> is there something in the attic that you want me to see? This is mad, absolutely mad. What a feeling. It's not a nice feeling down here. Right guys, I'm not gonna waste any more time in here. It's pretty quiet in here to be honest. So with that, I'm gonna do the next best thing. and I'm gonna move on again. Or just push it towards one of us. Can you just push it towards one of us? Please. That just moved it. Yeah, I thought it did. Can you try as hard as you can, please? Try and move it towards Scott. That is what's his name, isn't it? I think it is, yeah. I hope it was. Damn, is that you? Right, I'll come and shut the door. Come on, try really hard. Give this glass a whiz around, please. Okay, I'm going to check on him upstairs. Mm -hmm. um, I'll just get you a light. Okay, I've got one. I've got these if you want to pop one of these on the table. Oh, right, okay. Sorry. Sorry. I put one of those on there so you can yeah. see what you're doing. I'm just going to check on them upstairs. <clears throat> yeah. Please, can you move the glass? Try whizzing it around for us like you did earlier. Zoom it round the table. Try twisting the glass. Try twisting it for us. Go away, gone quiet now. Come and show us, show us that you can move it. Are you happy that we're here? Move the glass if you're happy that we're here. I'm talking to you. You moved it when Mandy spoke. And Mandy asked you, do you like Mandy? Do you know her? say hello to us are you too busy upstairs with the others 
Are you trying to scare them upstairs and play with them? Please come move the glass. Come move the glass for us. Would you like us? Oh, 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 yeah. Would you like us to do table tipping instead of the glass? Would you like us to do table tipping? Move it to yes or no. Please let us know. Do you want us to do table tipping? Move the glass again, please. That's it, brilliant. See if you can move it towards the light. That's it, go move it towards the light. Now get one big push. Get one big push and move it towards the light. Brilliant, thank you. Right guys. Look guys in there. Let me know what you thought of it. Was it a paranormal experience? That was just happening. Moving the glass, or was it something else? You decide. Right, guys, so we're about to come back. Myself and Nighthawks have come back into Felix's bedroom. We have been told and we've been informed off Monday that this is a place where most of the activity that they do get in on these premises, this is the room where it mostly happens. So, tonight, we've actually got two K2s. And at the moment, I think there's four, six, seven motion balls. Now, when we was in here last time, and we weren't on our own, this is where the motion ball was actually going off, guys. So with that being said, we're going to do our own investigation within this room, and we're going to see if we can actually pick up anything while we're in there. So, are you ready for this, mate? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That pendulum's moving. It is, yeah. Can you move that a bit faster for me, please? Can you move it faster? The spirit that's making it move, can you can you move it a little bit quicker? A bit more of a swing, or can you make it go round in a circle? Come on, spirit, show us how strong you are. Wow. That is moving. Yes, yeah, it, it is. Yeah. K2. And the K2's, oh yeah. The k two spiking up there, guys. Spirit, if you want us to take notice of you, and you want to communicate with us, can you make that pendulum swing as high as you possibly can, please?
We can see you moving it slightly. Spirit, Spirit, if you're in this room with us now, can you do something to make us aware that you're here? We've heard lots of stories on this place and seen quite a few videos of the activity that happens here. Would you be able to show us some of that stuff that you've shown others? If you can, can you use one of the devices we have laid out in here already for you? Right guys, what I'm going to do... I'm not going to go with all the bottles. Right, because we've now got a limited uh, amount of time within this premises. Uh, everybody else is downstairs at the moment. There's only myself and Nightwalk upstairs now. So, what we're going to do is we're going to swap around rooms um, and we're going to see if we can actually gather anything in the other rooms that we go into. Now, I'm actually going to come out of this room now and I'm going to go into the bathroom, guys. Can you do something in this room? to make me aware of your presence. Can you show yourself in the mirror? Wow, guys. Can you let me know that you're here? Can you show yourself in that mirror for me, please? Can you do that for me? Show yourself in that mirror, please. Can you let me know that you're here and you want to communicate with me? No, I've had to close the door, guys, because Nighthawk is in a separate room, but he is upstairs with me on this on this floor, so obviously we don't want to bleed over each other, so we are gonna try and do our own little investigations now. So if there's anybody, any spirit in this room with me now, can they show themselves in that mirror, please? And let us know that you're here. We haven't got very long left now. So I'm not gonna spend too long in this room. Are you willing to communicate? Are you willing to show yourself? Would you like to come through and talk to me and show me that you're here and you mean us no harm? Right guys, with that I'm going to bring my night to its end now. Again, thank you, massive shout out to Haunted Happenings. A massive, massive shout out for Mandy this evening. Um, it was done as really, really proud guys. Yeah, she's been a, a fantastic host. I wanted to come and use my own five senses as much as I possibly could tonight, guys. So with that, don't forget, if you enjoy what you see, remember to like, subscribe and share. Every little bit helps, guys. Now, remember, Nighthawks Paranormal has been with me tonight. His channel will be linked in the description down below. And with that being said, guys, as always, until next Tuesday, 7.30pm, look after yourselves and each other.